here, here's the thing. So Ryan's on a roll. So I'm transitioning. This has now become Nick's completely random non wrestling segment. I knew this was gonna. And be Ryan, a... we're we're gonna explain to you what happened to Ryan a couple weeks ago. Oh my Ryan, god! Ryan, you're fired up. I want to get you in I'm your moment up. right fired now. Fired up. You're fired up right now. Uh, Ryan had a little car trouble a couple weeks ago. Car so tr- it wasn't Ryan, even my Ryan, fault. Ryan, explain to the viewers uh, or to the viewer exactly to what you. happened to you um, a couple weeks ago. Eric, I can't believe I'm going to talk about you in a second because I'm upset about you too. I talked to Nick about you earlier. Okay, look, so some sign I'm, language going I, on in here. I'm at my job and I'm hearing over the headset a, a customer's. First of all, I sense fire, and then after that, I hit. I hear over the headset, the guy's like, "Hey, there's a fire going on out there," and I was like, "What? What? what? I heard it like very, very lightly. It's a weird thing I, to hear at work." I, I, yeah. yeah, yeah, and I was smelling it too, and like I was freaking out. I thought it was from one of our equipment things at work, you know. And then so I walk out, and my direction just keeps turning, turning, and I'm just thinking in the back of my mind, God, please don't let this be my car. Turning, 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 and there it is, my car right there. Now at first I look, I ran to the fire, I ran over there, honestly, which was a dumb thing that's to do. Dumb, no, that's that's a dumb thing that's to terrible. do. I was freaking out. I thought that my car was on fire, but thank God my car wasn't on fire. But the guy behind me's car, his car was definitely on fire, okay? All right? It was an Audi, okay? I'm not going to get into Audi. exact. Audi. Audi. Whatever. It doesn't just, matter. No, yes, it does. You it's a naughty it now because the car's burnt to pieces. I don't know. It's like me calling Seth Rollins, Seth Rollins. I don't so care. Okay. I don't care what the hell it was. <laughs> it's done now. The car's done. The engine was on the ground, literally. Okay? Anyway, I noticed that right behind me, the car is on fire. Now, thank God my car was parked, that car was parked adjacent to me. Because had that car been parked directly behind me, it would have blown up my car. There would have been pieces of my car all over the parking lot and probably hit me in the damn face. Okay? It would have probably given me a concussion. Okay? My tire would have given me a concussion. So I get there and firefighter is like, hey, dude, get away. I was like, oh my God. I was like, sir, please. My car is right in front of it. Please save my car. And all I can see is the flames just coming to my oh, car, God. like just getting close and like just heating up my car. And I'm just like, good God, please, Lord God, don't let anything bad happen to my car. And then they finally get the fire out with the, the holes and everything like that, because you always need a hose to douse a fire. And the, I go over there and the firefighter was like, hey, man, were you the car that was on fire? I was like, no. He was like, were you the car in front of the the car that was on fire? I was like, yes. I was like, is it damaged? He was like, yes, it is. So I get there, and good God. I'm just grateful to God that it didn't get close to my gas. Had it gotten to my gas, my car, there would have been a massive explosion, and God knows how dangerous that would have been. And now looking back on it, considering the fact I freaking ran to the fire. So stupid. (laughs) I don't know, man. I was freaking out. I was freaking out. I can no, but what's funny is, and it's not funny, but what's it's funny not is, funny. but what's funny, it's is, not funny. is, me oh, and sorry. Eric, me and Eric, imagining Ryan yelling and screaming, uh, uh, running toward his dude, car. Dude, there's a video of it. They got a video of me on Snapchat, <laughs> and they showed it to Eric Hattie on Snapchat. It was, on a, it was just me. Save scre- it, please. It you need just, to get someone to send it to us. Yeah. Oh I no, I got it. it. I'll, I'll let okay, you see okay, it. Okay, okay. No, I'm not letting you post this, okay? <laughs> and you're not allowed to post any pictures, okay? This is for We need to get his phone. It was just me screaming, my car, my car. See, that's what's funny, and though. Then, and then I was like, what are, and then I was like, don't put me on Snapchat. I was yelling at the dude. It's so like, don't put me on Snapchat. What's wrong with our generation? I was literally saying yeah. this and that thing. What's wrong with our generation? <laughs> Why are you putting me on Snapchat? Don't put me on there. I do not consent to this. And it all ties in. And, um, and, and, and what was frustrating, okay, about it is, what's been frustrating is. Well, your car was on fire. I my mean, car that's, was that's on fire. My car was on fire, okay. I have been in a battle with this guy's insurance company, and they're still conducting an investigation. The guy's car engine was on the damn ground. The guy said that he was in our drive-thru, okay? He was in our freaking That's drive-thru. B S. He said he was in our drive-thru, <laughs> noticed flames, and then he just parked there. And I'm just thinking in my back of my mind, you're going to park with a burning <laughs> car? Uh, he's, he's, and, then he, and then he came up to me on Friday and said, oh, yeah, I was eating food. He was like, oh, yeah, I was just eating my grilled cheese sandwich and those the cars off. So I'm hearing conflicting reports. Okay, yeah, dude, This guy had the gall 
to like disappear for a couple weeks or whatever it was. I, for a couple and, days. And then show up and in then my just job. show up and start talking to Ryan at work. Like, he hey, goes man, ghost. Sorry I lit your car on fire. <laughs> he did not lit my car sorry, on fire. Hold sorry. on, hold on, hold on. Wait, this might be a court situation. So don't say sorry I lit you know your car. Saying. Allegedly sorry got your, your car. car. Caught on fire because of my car. And your car caught on fire because of his car. It's not allegedly. And There's so, pictures. And now I have no damn car. My car, uh, my insurance doesn't have rental insurance. So I'm trying to get, like, I'm trying to get State Farm, or, well, excuse me, this insurance company. Make sure you bleep that out because I don't want to mention them. I'm trying to get this you don't insurance State company. Farm? I, yeah, I don't want to mention them. Bleep, bleep out it out. Too. Bleep yeah. them out, too. I, I'm trying to get this insurance company the guy has to try to get me a freaking uh to get to reimburse me and all i'm hearing from my insurance is on my end you have to go through them because you don't have rental insurance or whatnot i'm hearing like 18 million things so i feel like both my insurance and their insurance is combining to stick an elaborate penis up my behind okay <laughs> and I i'm sorry to say this but it's ridiculous okay you can bleep that out if you want no, to, no, no, too. No. Wait, I mean, can you just say that sentence? No, I'm time. not saying Did that. Did you say an elaborate? Okay. You you want the elaborate penis it, stuck up your behind? Uh, I do not want it. I, I just I don't get what's going on. My car is completely and totally okay. So it's getting fixed now, and it'll be done next week. But I'm still on the hunt because I didn't pay so much Uber and Lyft rides and to work. And what's annoying is anytime I get in the damn Uber or Lyft. I get asked the same question. Hey, man, you're going up to so-and-so? Why in the world are you coming all the way down here for work? And it's like, good God, man. When you hear that, like, every single day. One star. Twice a day. I I'm, I'm, I'm start pegging you. I start pegging your stars, man. <laughs> like, I start pegging you. I told a guy last night, I was like, dude, don't talk. I had this one creepy dude come to the store. And he freaking starts honking, just boom, boom, boom. I'm just like, and I'm literally walking, and he sees me walking out the door. And he's like, he has the audacity to be rude. His car smells like absolute crap, okay? He smells like he smoked weed and cigarettes in his car <laughs> at the same time. They got the Uber ride and said, oh, shoot, dumped it out, and then just drove over there knowing he had that smell in his car. And he was like, hey, man, look. I, I really hey need. Can, can you give me a five? <laughs> Sorry. Can you give me a five star? Can you give me a five star review? And I'm just like. I'm he's thinking like, back he's like waving. Life. He's like waving. And, and I'm just thinking back in my mind. I was like, Wait, do you honestly think I'm gonna give you a five star review when your car smells like a combination of four twenty, a combination of four twenty, okay? Four twenty and, and Jeff Hardy and, and Jeff Hardy <laughs> and uh, like, <laughs> yeah, like you smell like that. It That's smells. Like, uh, he said, man. "Smoke crack with Jeff Hardy." He said, "Okay, so we have. By the way, we have a ticker going. Certain things that Eric says a lot." Uh, so he says smoke crack with Jeff Hardy quite a bit when we're off air. He just no, said no, no, no. He says stay black more yeah. often. Well, he, he says stay, stay black. black. Yeah, yeah I told him he only has three times to say it last night. Yeah, yeah. So he hasn't wow. said it Getting once. Getting permission from the RKJ man. That's it is. No, it's it's, it's yeah. The blackest thing ever. We don't know. Cool. We don't Nick, know if me we can and, say me and, it. me and Nick talked about this, Eric. We're trying to help you out. Like, we have to you're gonna reduce get, it. You're going to say it to the wrong black dude, and someone's going to punch you in the face. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be like, what you talking about? You don't know the black black. Hey, you don't know what it is. But I, I'm, well, I'm, Eric I'm, I'm making somewhat, it PG. Eric they, could somewhat pass off as black. He says dark complexion to his skin. I cannot. If I started saying that, I'm getting an ass whooping at some point. An ass whooping. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're an easy target too. Absolutely. You're, yeah. <laughs> but uh, you're tall and white. Nah, that's, yeah. that's that's the recipe so Ryan, for getting the, the long, kicked. So Ryan, the long story here for touched. Nick's uh, random segment of the day is Ryan hasn't had a car for a while, and he's very perturbed, and other things that have been going on. I've just made him inc have just incited him today, and it's got, just, brought great look, content. I'm I'm praying to God a lot, but it's really difficult to have peace when you have no car, when you're Ubering everywhere, and they just completely and these insurance companies want to make sure that you're not getting your money. I know what this insurance company thinks. They're thinking, oh, he's going to get his car back. He's going to be okay with paying what he paid for his deductible, and he's not going to come after us, and they're freaking wrong. And I'm trying to pray to God to hold back. I'm trying to hold back so much of what I really, really, I really don't want to go full RKJ 
a RKJ man mode. Because if I go full RKJ man mode, it's going to get really bad. Then a few days later, I'm in a group project. And my group project. Oh, this is my group project. And then There's too and much then, to talk about. They have yeah. the audacity to try to try to be woke. This is what I say about our, gener our generation, man. People want to be woke when they're not talking to people's <laughs> faces, man. Woken? Like, yeah, they want to be woken. Not woken that hard. Wonderful. Right? Yeah, wonderful. they, wa they want to be wonderful on delete. social media. But deleted. they don't want to be. Re delete. Yeah, yeah, you're about to get deleted. Because, like, these dudes. Or had the audacity to come uh, to tell me, hey, we need to do your part and all this stuff. And I'm like, okay, so if you had a problem with what I was doing in the group before, which I was doing my part, but I was picking the smallest things possible because, you know, I work 50 plus hours a week and I go to school full time. So I really don't have a lot of time on my hands and I'm doing this podcast. So if you have an issue for what I'm doing, why not come to me and say, hey, Ryan, can you do this, this, and this? We just feel, and I'll be like, okay. I disagree, but okay. They come to me at the most random time. They, 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 we get into this whole big thing, and they say, oh, we got this and this and this going on. So I finished the stuff. Shout out to your boy, Austin, Nick, helping me finish Austin it. Yeah. But, like, like we have we exchanged a brief, brief Texas, and then I was like, in the words of Jim Cornette, F you, or uh, thank you, F you, bye. Because <laughs> it was just like, it was just like, don't talk that BS to me on social media. I'm already stressed out as it is with working full time, a lot of hours, going to school full time, dealing with this car situation, the podcast, and oh yeah, I'm thinking about my future. Yeah. So like, let, let's 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 calm down, okay? Let's let's drive slow, homie. In the words of Kanye West. Speaking of Kanye West, while we're on Nick's oh totally random segment, we need to transition back to the greatest for our rumble. No, we've I don't feel this, like we've been, I, we've been on this segment for a no, while. No, we've been, no, we've now no, had two no, segments. No, I don't care. Kanye West, what the hell are you doing? Slavery was a choice. Like you had like the these 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 dudes these these slaves got up on the thing like they were ready to go to a future concert. Like they willingly got up and just got to a future. Like let's f up some commas overseas. Like come on, man. Like what the heck, man? Wait, did you just say the word again? I gotta make sure. F if up I... some commas. Oh, you said f up. Okay. Yeah. You yes. said f up. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Anything else you want to say more about? Kanye West, since you, this, you, this yeah. it's the it's the uh, RKJ you know Man vent section. You know what I think? It is an extended ver it is an extended version of you ranting, dude. <laughs> Look, let me explain something. A lot of people say, "Oh, I miss the old Kanye. I miss the old Kanye West, college dropout <laughs> Kanye really West with the now. teddy bear." <laughs> let me explain something. People have to develop. Okay, they have to grow up in life, and yeah. Kanye West is growing up. But the thing about growing up is, you're supposed to get better. Kanye West is getting progressively worse. <laughs> like, the Kardashian uh, curse uh, is a real thing. Yeah. Yeah. I hit it first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, all I can say is this, man. Got to trace songs. Man. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to get him away from Kim Kardashian, man. Trace songs. Maybe we'll have to get him away from Kim Kardashian. I, I don't think it's Kim Kardashian. Like, I think there's a lot of issues going on in Kanye. Have Wesley. you seen how many men? That I mean, Tristan Thompson had a damn kid with one of them, and still was at the club. And getting like, chicks, just and getting like, chicks. And like, he had like five. Yeah, he had like five chicks. I thought there was like two. No, there's like there's like five overall. He had a I'm basketball sure. team. He had a starting team. He had a starting lineup. He had oh a center, god. a power forward, <laughs> a, a point, a wing oh player. Oh my god, a shooter. everything. Man. Oh my god, jeez, Louise, man. Hey man. No, okay. Here's the thing, and this is something I know too. When you're the tallest guy in the club, you gotta watch out, man. You gotta watch out with what you're doing. Everyone can see you. It's the dumbest thing ever. He's like six foot ten out there. Oh, nobody's gonna see me. What are you talking about, man? I, I in these text messages, like these chicks won't leak these text messages on social media. Like the only one leaking text messages is Kanye West. Yeah, uh, no, he no. This chick leaked a social media a text from Tristan Thompson saying how you wanted to do all, say, all these illicit sexual things to her. And I'm just thinking in the back of my mind, I was like, <laughs> why in the world are you doing this, Tristan Thompson? Why are you ruining it? You know the Kardashians have so much power, they can ruin your career. Even in the NBA, they can ruin your career. They yeah. did it to Chris Humphreys. Yeah. The only person who got away was James Harden, and he got away quick enough. <laughs> yeah, James Harden's a beast. Yeah. Yeah. 